Well, Lee, I'm not really quite sure where to start with that, actually. Uh, um, first 15 minutes killed us. Yeah, we started very, very poorly. Nothing to do with the warm-up, and if because I think that people have got to um, get themselves tuned in. And if you can get yourself tuned in to play Kingdoms to here, there's a good crowd in. I worry about it. I think we were on the back foot and didn't and showed them too much respect in the first period of the game, and I don't know why, because we should have been up and at them. And um, It was I a cakewalk for them in the first half, oh, wasn't it, really? I mean, no, one laid a, no one laid a finger on them. Too deep, too passive, in possession and out of possession, not enough aggression. Uh, a lot of things that we've been okay with this season, we didn't do. I mean, looking at it, the goals were just walkthroughs, weren't they? They, were, they mean, the goalkeeper didn't have a safe to make in the game, and nor did Cameron and Gregory really. I mean, um, it was just really just they just took control of the game from from the word go. And as you say, there, there there was no aggression. We did give, we did give them too much respect. How can we change that for playing the league leaders? Let's say on on Tuesday. Well, I've. You know, well, you know, a couple of people we tried to get him fell through. We've got the walking wounded at the moment. Uh, Harry Riley played with an injury, and uh, a couple of other lads played with an injury. We've got a couple of people carrying injuries, so we haven't got a squad that we can take two or three injuries. So they've played, but it's no excuse. I mean, I'm, I'm I was in, I thought it was uh, very, very poor. I was embarrassed with some of the, the. I was embarrassed with the first twenty minutes, to be quite honest. Very embarrassed. It's not us. It's not the way we want the team to play. And, um, you know, we had a warning before they scored and uh, we just we just didn't get out, did we? We didn't get up into their half. We, Whenever we won possession, we didn't play forward. We were hesitant, inviting a press on. Uh, we'd done a meeting beforehand saying that, look, this is the way they're going to play, so we need to do X, Y, and Z. And um, we didn't do it. The first time we done it was after 30 minutes. And I said to them at half time, that's the first time you've done what we spoke about in the meeting, spoke about on uh, Thursday night. I said, so, you know, ultimately, you know, I, I'm the manager, I take responsibility. But uh, um, after that, I know that full well that we need to get, uh, I need to go and get two or three more bodies in now, um, mainly because we've got injuries. I can't ask people to go out and play that have got some of the injuries I've had. We couldn't get uh, a deal done on Friday afternoon for a player. And um, yeah, so I'm hoping I get one or two in for uh, Tuesday. Tuesday night. When you came back to the game today, the third goal right at half time killed us off, didn't it? I yeah. mean, um, after that, I said game set and match yeah. there because there was no way back from that. Although we did put in a, a fighting performance just before that. There was about a 10 minute spell where we almost got back into the game. We did carry missing that um, well attempt from six yards. But then Gaza had chances in the second half, header mm. and uh, a shot that blazed over the bar. If those had gone in, who knows what would have happened. But it just seems, as we said before, the final phase football isn't coming off a of Catherine. Mm. Well, not coming off today. It came off last week. Um, what I would say today is when like, I agree with you. There's, you know, the saying in football is when it goes three, it's an absolute mountain. At two, you're always in it. Three is a mountain. Now we have two or three very good chances. One, I think, was it Brad's header, and then Brad from a left foot shot. Now if that goes in, look, we might have huffed and puffed and got a second, and then it would have been game on. But. You know, we headed it over, you know, I don't mean head over, then the left foot shot he put over. For a great play from Dakari on both occasions. So, you know, then Dakari's had a shot. Dakari's looked a threat. Um, but, you know, that we need to look at the, the, the round pitch. There wasn't enough uh, competitiveness, there wasn't enough aggression in the game for us. There wasn't enough, you know, all the things that, you know, we... Even losing at Leamington, going to Boston, going to Buxton, all the aggression and the, um, you know, the, the the playing on the front foot and having a go, that wasn't there for 25 minutes of the first half. That's a worry for me. Um, now I can go in, I've spoke to them, and I'll speak to them individually and just, you know, that's not enough. And if, if they're not going to give that or any more, if that's the max they can give, then we are a worry. But we know they can give better, they've shown better. But... Um, you know, the first 25 minutes, well, I thought, were uh, the worst we've been. We need to be an ugly team, don't we? We need to, as you say, put the aggression in. We need some nasty people out there, giving some aggression, getting getting into these teams. These just seem to be given too much respect, as you said, as you said earlier. And it, mm. it was a cakewalk for them, really. They, you know, Ketron didn't really put them under pressure whatsoever. And as I say, you've got Kings Lynn on Tuesday night, another, another easy task. And then again in the FA Cup, you know, it's, it's not going to be easy, is it, at all, at the moment? Well, no, it's not, but, um, you know, you want a reaction off the lads. That's the mm, first. Definitely. 
The second thing is though, uh, what really disappointed me is today was a great crowd in. Yeah, there was over eight hundred, yeah. you know. And um, some were saying before the game they only got eight hundred last season, eight hundred and something when um, both teams were in the playoff positions or round about it. So a lot of people turned out today. Mm. We ain't been at home for ages, and then to go and turn up like that and put that performance in, definitely, really, really. Well, I'm struggling to say what I feel like saying. What well, you can uh, say, <laughs> yeah, no, but I, I am struggling to say how I really feel about that performance. It's not a performance that I would put at the lads, but. I thought it was, um, yeah, I was, I was really disgusted with it, to be honest. Do you feel under any pressure at all? In what way? Or just with the team, you know, being down the bottom a little bit now? And no, well, I mean, to be honest, and this, this isn't flipping, I ran a healthcare business and I was looking after people who, I knew that, and, you know, people who, we were looking after their parents, we were looking after a lot of people in Corby and Kettering, and, um, we employed a lot of people and sometimes they didn't turn up and so a vulnerable adult was left alone. That is real pressure. This isn't. But this to me is the most important thing because it's my job. So I'm not being flippant there but that is pressure. This one, I'll make clear decisions. Um, I spoke to a fan afterwards that was saying why didn't I change X, Y and Z and I went over to him and explained it about the injuries. And uh, I can get that. I get friends' frustration. I get friends' frustration when we're doing 10.5k. Now, it'll be interesting to see what the distances is they've covered because was it below that? Um, so I get, I get the frustration, but um, as for feeling pressure, I, I don't. I put more than enough pressure on myself and um, I um, want to succeed and want to do well. So that's the, the, pressure, uh, the pressure that I feel. Not long to go then before Tuesday, uh, pick me up really, I know we say we go again on Tuesday, we do, and uh, as I say, it needs to be a vast improvement all round really. Well massively, massively, and also, you know, um, you know, speaking, we got a squad together that uh, we didn't have a squad in the summer because everyone left, we couldn't afford to keep them wage-wise, so we've put a squad together now, they've got us over the first bit of the season, are they the right people to take us further forward for the next eight games, then we're going to have to see on Tuesday. If not, I'm going to, I've got to do my job and look to move people about. And uh, I think that looking at it, you know, we, we get these one or two bodies in that we tried to get in. One or two will go out, uh, maybe on loan or something to get uh, some games, whatever. But I'll need to generate uh, some money to go and get other people in because ultimately the pressure then comes on me. And then my job is in question because I'm not silly. I've been running, I've been doing this job for a long time. I've been in football a long time. So, um, I'll need to do that to make sure that we're A, more competitive and B, can win a game. Okay, Lee, thank you very much for your frank uh, thoughts there on the game and uh, let's hope we can do something on Tuesday. Thank you. Cheers.